What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tilts Wrestling and today I am talking to you about my personal Thunderdome fail. Let's get right into it. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so last night I was meant to be in the Thunderdome for WWE Smackdown, as you can probably see by the sign behind me. Now, I actually did get into the Thunderdome for SmackDown. However, I was only on for 30 minutes before WWE kicked me off. Now, I don't know why they kicked me off. I hear that they kicked a few people off, but I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, I, I can't really complain. I've had some great experiences in the Thunderdome, you know, front row, hell in a cell, I've been on Raw, I've been on SmackDown, I've done it before, but, I was like, really? 30 minutes? You know, my call time was 1.30 in the morning. I'm, I'm literally, I've stayed up till 1.30 a.m. to be in the Thunderdome and you kick me out after half an hour. So I've stayed up till like 2 a.m. for no reason. Um, and I was just, I was a bit pissed off. I'm not going to lie. Which I think it's, it's fair enough for me to be a bit angry. Uh, but I was like, okay. I need to think as to why they kicked me out. I did everything normally how I would, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm reacting, I'm yeah, boo, doing everything that the producer's telling me to do. But then I get a message come up on my screen saying, thanks for entering, be sure to look out for the next Thunderdome experience. And I was like, what, really? Like, no, nah, that's, that's, not, that's not fun. Um, but I thought, okay, now let's look into what I can do. So I actually stayed up until 2.30 uh, talking to some of you guys on Instagram because apparently you guys had also been removed from the Thunderdome. Now, some of you had been in longer than others. Some were in for like an hour. Some were in for half an hour. Um, and you had also been removed. And I was like, okay, this is very strange. Uh, but I was talking to Mini King 22 shout out to you, um, because me and him were talking to each other, and we were like, okay, this is, this is strange, why, why have we both been kicked, and what I actually tried to do was refresh the, uh, the link, the one-time link you get given to see if I could enter again, because I know when the Thunderdome is initially full, uh, when you, tr like, enter on your call time, you may get this message come up, and sometimes that says, like, you know, uh, Thunderdome is full. But if you keep refreshing, you get this screen. And then finally one that says click here to enter. So I was hoping I would get that come up, but I didn't. Uh, it just said Thunderdome full, Thunderdome th full, Thunderdome full constantly. Uh, so I was talking to Mini King on Instagram and I was like, what's going on? And luckily for him, he had another email uh, that he actually registered. He, he registered two emails into the Thunderdome. And he got back in after he was kicked using a separate email. But then he was kicked again after five minutes. So I think what WWE are doing here, ladies and gentlemen, is bearing in mind, SmackDown is a shorter show. Now that they tape 205 Live on Wednesdays for NXT, SmackDown is only two hours, meaning the Thunderdome experience for the show is only two hours, not counting the first hour you have to wait looking at the blank Thunderdome screen. And I, what they, I think what they're wanting to do is to maximise everyone's time in the dome. They get rid of you on shorter periods. So, unfortunately for me, I was gonna, I obviously want to make collages of every time I was in the Thunderdome, but last night, because of the short period of time I was in, I literally didn't see myself on screen once, and no one sent me sent me photos of me on screen, so I don't think anyone else has seen me either. Um, but I was only on for the Otis and Dolph Ziggler match, which was very, very short, so I felt really uh, a bit cheated, really. I think about 10 minutes of my Thunderdome time was looking at advertisements. Um, so that sucked, but... Mini King got on and was kicked out five minutes later. What I think's happened is they recognised that he was already on and they already kicked him, so they kicked him again. And they may have recognised me from previous Thunderdome experiences, so they kicked me early. I think because Smackdown is only a two-hour show, they're trying to get as many people on, as many new people that they can. So because of that, they have to sacrifice some people that they recognise or people that have been on for a prolonged period of time. And... That means if you're on the Thunderdome for SmackDown, B 
be expected to be kicked. That's what I'm going to say, because last week on SmackDown, not last week, it was a few weeks ago now, I was in uh, from the very beginning to just before the main event, and I was kicked. So I think they're literally on SmackDown because of the short length of the show. They're trying to mix it up. They're trying to get as many people on as they can, as many different kinds of people, meaning that they have to remove people. I don't think you've done anything wrong. You just have to be removed so other people get a chance. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever been kicked from the Thunderdome? That is my first bad Thunderdome experience. Like, I was really annoyed. If my call time was like 12.30am, I'd have been like, okay, that's not too bad. And if I was kicked at 1, I'd be like, okay, I can still go to sleep and wake up relatively early. But I woke up this morning and I was tired because I'm up till 2.30am. Like, why would I normally do that unless I was in the Thunderdome? And I was only there for 30 minutes and I didn't even get to see myself. But yeah, once again, have you ever been kicked? If so, tell me the story. If not, then tell me if you've been in the Thunderdome before. I always appreciate reading your comments. I always love hearing the stories you guys have got to tell me. But I've been Joe from Joe Talks Press and you guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.